Well, guys, thanks for joining us. We're rolling. <laughs> we are rolling. Gaffer, we'll start with you. It's a trip to Swindon Town tomorrow night. What do you think we can expect from them? Very, very tough game. Uh, good side, good manager, you know, on that side of the pitch down there. Fans are very vocal. Um, be a good match for our fans tomorrow. We just expect a tough game. Yeah, obviously our opponents are high flying, but as we've shown at the weekend, we can beat anyone in this league. Is that the sort of the mentality you take into this one with our away form at the moment? We take that into every game. Um, it's not just Saturday. It hasn't just happened Saturday, is it? The boys will tell you. If we get the right players out on the pitch and, and everyone performs the way, the way that we know and I know they can do, we'll be a match for anybody. No problems about that whatsoever. And you know, obviously it was gutting to see Frankham have to pull out in the last minute against Bradford and obviously Lynch coming off. Is there any update on their injuries at all? We didn't pull up in the last minute. George had to pull out in the warm-up. Mm. Um, and, and obviously Lynchy, it's just one of them things, that, you know, fella could have got six months for the tackle, let alone you know, a yellow card. But let's just hope he's all right. They're both having scans today and we'll see where we go with it. You know, obviously it's the deadline day today. Is there any sort of news you can give the fans? Is there any advice to stay up a little bit later or is the window firmly shut for us? Yeah, stay up tonight. There's a good film on <laughs> film four. Um, no, we, we're trying on a few. We had some disappointing news today concerning the Man United boy. Um, there was a right balls up with his paperwork and uh, I don't think that will go through. We're trying to rectify it. Claire, bless her, we've been working all night and everything to try and get some in. But listen... The boys know that we've got good enough players up there. It would just be in answers anyway. Um, it's just one of them things. We've been coming over adversity all season, so you know, it doesn't concern me that much. It's just annoying that you do things and think things are going to happen, and then all of a sudden they've got a great way of kicking you right out of the jacksey. <laughs> James, obviously a great result on Saturday. I can imagine you were delighted with that one. No, yeah, we were obviously delighted that we got the win. Um, but we knew we, when we were going up there that we wanted to go up there and go at them. And I think the second half especially, we did that. And obviously, we won the game. So, yeah, we were really happy with that. Yeah, and obviously, we know it's going to be a tough test tomorrow night. But I'm sure the lads will take a lot of confidence from the performance on Saturday. Yeah, it's, as every game in this league, we all, like every game we go into, it's going to be hard. Um, there's no easy games in this league. Um, but we go into it knowing that if we play to what we can, then we, we can win the game. You know, so on Saturday you were you found yourself in a couple of different positions when you know Lynch was forced off with injury. You moved into centre midfield. You know, how did you enjoy that role? You looked to play really well, and you know the fans are certainly delighted with your performance. No, yeah, to be honest, I'm enjoying my football at the moment, um, and I don't like, I don't mind I play in any position. Um, I just want to play, and yeah, no, I'm enjoying it. You know, obviously a team of the week appearance, and you've been voted as the player of the month by the fans and the Crawley Observer. You know, I'm sure you're delighted to just get that praise and you know prove why you're being in, selected for the side. Yeah, I think it's it's been a team though. We've been playing well as a team, and obviously it helps you as an individual when you're playing well as a team. It's it's a lot easier on the pitch. But. Cool. Cool. What is your favourite position, James? You've played in quite a few now. Have you got a preferred one, or do you just do whatever he says? <laughs> no, yeah. I, no, to be honest, I just I'll play anywhere. Um, I just like I just want to be on the pitch. That's the that's the thing. Um, but obviously, I'm an attacking player, um, but I like. I also like doing the other side of the game as well. So yeah, and did Saturday's game sort of sum up what this Crawley Town team is about? Sort of fighting to the very end, getting the win, and the team spirit at the end you just showed. And that. is that what this team's all about? Do you think? No, definitely. Obviously, we're like really like together, a close knit group, and that showed on the the weekend. Like we just work, we'll work hard right to the final mis uh, minute, and obviously we reap the rewards. So. Yeah, so, and what are your ambitions for the rest of the season? Do you think for the team and for yourself? We just want to, we want to win every game. That's the thing. We we all we all want to win, um, and that's obviously what we want to try and do. And then that will hopefully push us up the league. But yeah. just got to take every game by its like one at a time. Thanks, James. John, same question to you about the win on Saturday and the performance. Does that sort of sum up this Crawley Town team? Do you think? I think the season. I think since we've been here, it sums up the Crawley Town team. I mm. think it's a good thing was you could see the fans, uh, the players was. Just as excited, if not more excited, when we won, and the fans won. It was hard to tell the difference who was the fans and who was the team. Yeah, which is what it's all about because they're they're the ones they've travelled all that way to come and watch you. And I keep saying it; I've said it all season. 
give them something to cheer about and they're back you. You know, who wants to go all that way and get beat? Who wants to go all that way and get soaking wet, freezing cold and come back with nothing? Mm. We don't as a team and they don't as fans. So give them something to cheer about and we'll all be happy together. Yeah, and similar thing with James having to change position during a game. Um, Jack Powell coming in to the starting lineup quite late on. Again, that's been the story of your season there, people having to adapt. Well, Tills will tell you, you know, he's come on a bundle, he's grown up. I think he's finally realised what it takes to be a footballer now. Mm. And it ain't all about just doing what you've got to do. Sometimes you've got to do the horrible side. Sometimes you, you do have to listen to Matt gets like me telling him every five, ten minutes. But it's for his good. Put that into the team perspective. Keep telling everybody, make sure you're ready because you don't know when you're going to be used. Mm. Some people believe you, some people don't. But if you're not ready, don't blame me then if you don't get your chance to, you know, to stay in the team. Mm. So, mate, and that's a credit to James this year because I think he has. Mm. He's just toast to Billingshurst at the minute, <laughs> you know. Excellent. Uh, just a word about Jack Powell as well because I obviously read all the fans forums and that, and he faced a little bit of criticism in the last couple of weeks. Mm. And obviously, he provided the winner. It was his free kick that so he yeah. headed home in that. Just a word about Jack and how. Well, listen, how much if, he if you believe the critics when they're telling you how good you are, you've got to believe them for telling you how bad you are. So don't listen and don't look at them anyway. We know within the dressing room what each player brings to the party. Mm. If I, you know, I'm, I've got me doubts sometimes on certain players. It's my job to put them right. Tills will tell you I don't. I'm, my trouble is I'm too shy to tell them. I think, and I. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the thing is, listen. Nobody goes out there to play bad. Nobody goes out there not to have a good game. Nobody out there. And it's you know, Jack's a good player. Jack's a, a, one of the mainstays of the football club, and, yeah. and he every time he leaves his heart on the pitch. Yeah. Sometimes he leaves his brain in the dressing room, but that's Jack. <laughs> when he's on it, he's on it. Yeah. And you can't take away, you know, he's a good footballer. But listen, here come for it. He's big enough and ugly enough. You know what I'm saying to you? And it annoys me a little bit because we've got the squad that we got and everybody's playing and, and trying their best to win a game of football for the football club. Yeah. Is that right, James? Yeah. See? Good stuff. And um, tomorrow night, what sort of different challenge will Swindon be to Bradford? Yeah. <sighs> um... A challenge is a challenge. You just, you know, they're a football ball. They're a good side. They're going through. Um, they've come through a lot of adversity themselves over the years. But I'm not too, cause, you know, it, it sounds a bit conceited. Of course, we work on the opposition, but let's just let people start worrying about what we're going to do, and we've got to worry what we do to get right, and then be game on then. Yeah. And you mentioned touched on the transfer window already, but how disappointing is it for this Man United? Very, very, very disappointing. Yeah. And and it was nothing to do with us. Got to state that um, the boy came down. He's been training with us. Met him. You know, real nice kid. It speaks highly of the club. You know, and, and I'm a little bit disappointed with the attitude of all you media people as well, because you ain't made it. You know, a boy of Man United wanted to send a player to Crawley Town, and other clubs wanted to do it. We just seem to take it for granted, and you take it for granted that some of the other layers that want to be interested in joining. It's a credit to the players that they're attracting other players to come and play for us. Mm. We don't make enough of that. You know, you just think, oh yeah, it happens. Oh man, you know. Now listen, it's hard for them to let anybody come out. So in future, you know, it, let, let's just get behind it a little bit rather than, and the fans, some of them again. But you know, it, it ain't that easy to attract people here. Yeah. 